So in this video today, I'm going to show you how to do this soft matte brown grunge makeup and I hope you enjoy! Okay, so we're starting with clean face and I'm going to prime it with my vapor primer. I really like this primer because it fills the pores and I'm just going to apply that in the center of the face and blend that in with my finger. For the foundation, I'm going to use something that is a satin finish. This one is from 100% Pure and I really like it. It really reminds me of Makeup Forever HD foundation which I don't really use anymore. I still have it but I don't really use it anymore. So I'm just going to blend that in with my Kabuki brush from Sigma. And for a seamless finish, I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and blend that further into the skin. I wanted lighter brows today, so I'm going to use my Self Naturals Brow Cream in medium brown. And I'm applying that with my Tarte Double Ended Brush. Okay, so I'm not going to go too deep into this because I wanted to make a video all about my brows. And I'm going to set my brow with my Jane Iredale Brow Gel. And I've been using it for two years now and I am so in love with it. Before eyeshadows, I'm going to prime my eyelids with my Lily Lolo Eye Primer. And I'm just going to apply that on my eyelid. I'm going to set my eye primer with this porcelain shade from Red Apple Lipstick. Taking a warm medium brown color, this is Sugar and Spice. It's my favorite color of all time. I'm going to apply that on my crease as a transition and I'm going to blend that in so that there are no harsh lines. From my Boho Flower Power Palette, I'm taking this dark eggplant color, mix it with this dark brown color and I'm going to apply that on my eyelid. Using a patting motion with a flat eyeshadow brush and these eyeshadows are so pigmented and so creamy, they're so easy to blend. They do have a little bit of fallouts but I really like the pigmentation so I don't really mind. Also going to apply whatever's left on my brush to my lower lash line. Now I'm applying a black gel eyeliner. This is from Silk Naturals and I love it. I'm using an angled brush from Red Apple Lipstick. I'm also creating a wing eyeliner. So I'm just applying that onto my lids and just... And to get an even more black color, I'm setting it with my Alima Pure Powder Eyeliner in black. Back to the Flower Power Palette, I'm taking that yellow shade and I'm just going to apply that on the inner corner of my eye. And then I'm applying a black eyeliner on the outer part of my lower lash line and curling my lashes before mascara. Just my trusty Well People Mascara before applying the Red Apple Lipstick Mascara on my lower lash line. I'm taking my Studio 78 concealer and I'm going to apply that under my eyes. This concealer has more of a dry finish so I really like it because my skin is pretty oily. I'm going to blend that in with my Sigma angled brush. And I'm using my beauty blender to further blend it so that it is seamless and it looks just like my skin, only better. I'm setting my under eye area with a vanilla eyeshadow from Boho so that it's brighter because it has a yellow undertone to it. For the rest of my face, I'm going to use my RMS Tinted Un Powder in number 2 to 3. And I love this powder. This is like the only powder that you need in your life, honestly. To bronze up my skin, I'm going to use my Honest Beauty Bronzer in Dusk Reflection. And I'm going to apply that just as I normally would a bronzer on my cheekbones. And then I'm going to bring it a little bit on my cheeks. And then I'm going to apply that on my forehead to basically, you know, just to bronze up my skin a little bit so it has more color. And I'm going to blend that in again with my powder brush so there are no harsh lines. I'm taking this Lily Lolo blush in Just Peachy and I'm applying that on, my, on the apples of my cheeks just with the same brush. And I originally didn't want to use blush but this color is like so bronzy and just so perfect for this look, I feel like. <laughs> Oh my god, for a highlight, I just got this Becca X Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Highlight and I'm just so in love with it. I'm going to apply that with my Real Techniques Highlighter Brush. It's so pigmented, it's so buttery, everybody needs this highlighter. It's amazing. And then I'm contouring my nose with my Sombra Contour Powder from Alima Pure with a pencil brush from Jessup. 
And this brush is really good. It's not that soft, but it's really portable. And for the cheekbones, I'm taking my Alima Pure Number no. 8 brush with the same product. So I'm lining my lips with this Boho lip liner in number no. 8, I think. Uh, this is like a mauvey, taupey, purpley kind of color, which is all the rage right now <laughs> honestly everybody is using this kind of color but i really love it and um the formula is not that good but i feel like the color makes up for it for the lips i'm going to use this liquid lipstick from aromi beauty in the color berry nude when I was using this liquid lipstick, everybody is complimenting my lips. They were asking me what color I was using. Romy makes the best liquid lipstick formula out there that I've tried on the market. They're not drying at all. They don't tug your lip. So that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoy this. This is perfect for going out at nighttime. And if you try this, don't forget to tag me or uh, let me know how it goes for you. So I'll see you guys later. Bye!